CJ, when Coach Doran told you you'd be the starter on Saturday, what was kind of your first reaction? I was excited. I'm ready to play, man. Um, got a big one coming up, and I'm ready to step out and um, have fun on that field. What does maybe Grayson kind of tell you? Obviously, it's such a big game. There's so much lead up to it. What's kind of the message fit from having like a veteran guy like him? Uh, Grayson just told me to play my game and, you know, play smart and take care of the ball. That's the main thing. And, you know, he's behind me every, every step of the way, so that's a good thing. How much different is this week of preparation compared to what you've gone through in the, in the past? Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty much the same. You know, we, we, we keep it in the, the same, but um, of course we got to strain and, you know, work hard every day, but it's pretty much the same as any other week. We're treating at the same thing. When did you find out that, um, like, you were starting this week, too? Um, I'll say a couple, couple days after the game, but... What, you know, this environment is arguably, what, like top five most tough places to play? Yeah. It is a day game, so we'll, we'll give you that. But just kind of what are you expecting? What are some of your strategies to kind of cope with that? I'm expecting to go into Death Valley with hearing the hearing crowd and hearing everybody, like, screaming, try to get into our heads. But I'm expecting it. We're practicing for it. So I'll be, I'll be prepared and ready for it when I get there. You talked a lot about it after the game a little bit, but how much did your high school career playing on that level kind of help you know prepare you for this? Yeah, moment? that helped a lot, especially uh, playing at Shamanah. We had a couple games like this, so and I I know how to handle it and you know stay level headed throughout the game and, and finish the game strong. So um, that Valley just another another one of those games. This big crowd and it's just the same what I used to do in high school. So when you went back and looked at the film from the Louisiana Tech game, how would you kind of assess the way that you played? Um, I felt like I did a great job. Um, main thing was to forget about the past and just keep moving forward. And I, I love the way I did, with, the way I handled myself with the pressure and everything in the second half. I'm, I'm looking forward to play f whole four quarters of Clemson the same way. So. Coach Storm talked about the poise that you had. I mean, how much do you feel like that grew throughout the game, and, and how much do you feel like that helped you going into this game as well? Yeah, it grew. It grew a lot. Um, I actually seen those guys on the defense making plays. So once I made a play, like my my confidence just kept growing and I kept making more and more plays. So, um, no, it was just like a domino effect with those guys. So, and we just kept making plays. That's all I got to say. As far as the experienced guys around you, how much have they helped you kind of rally for this game? Yeah, yeah. Um, those guys, uh, our leaders, our seniors, they're doing a great job of uh, letting me know it's just a normal game, man. Just play your game and stay focused and, like, take, take everything serious. Just about the details this week and every little thing matters. That's what he's kept and still in my head. How much do you think getting some reps in in the Tennessee game, seeing kind of the size, the speed that they play with, maybe prepped you for this weekend? Yeah, actually prepped me for last week. Um, Tennessee game, when I got those a couple reps, man, I got to fill out the game. I, I, I didn't get tackled in a while since high school, so like mm -hmm. I got to fill it out in Louisiana Tech and Tennessee game. So it's really prepped me for this week as well. So How has the in-helmet communication helped kind of this transition, just having Coach Roper in your ear a little bit you know, out there? Yeah, it helps a lot that um, we don't have to mainly focus on those signals on the sideline. Coach Rupert's in our ear uh, letting us know the play. And, you know, it's, it's better. I hope, hopefully when we get to Death Valley, is the mic's still pr working pr perfectly fine. But if not, we'll just go over there and get the signals. It's fine. I see you looking at the tablet, some with Coach Rupert yeah. there on the bench. Mm -hmm. um, how does that change really help a, a quarterback? like quarterback like you. Yeah, it's actually when we get those tablets and seeing those like couple plays in that whole drive, it helps a lot because now we can see what we can adjust to and how many, what, like the plays we can make going into the next drive. So it's, it's really helpful to have those tablets on the sideline. There's a lot of experience on this team, especially in front of you with the offensive line. What is it like at the same time to know that you're playing with teammates who are four or five years older than you? Yeah. I mean, I know age is just a number, but does that kind of ever hit you that you're so much younger than them? No, not really. I just think that uh, with those guys, especially the O-line, um, I feel like I'm way more protected because those guys know what they're doing. They're really advanced. And, you know, those guys on defense, it's great to have those guys because they're, they're leaders and they're going to tell me what I should do and what, what I should not do and how to, like, stay focused and detailed and keep, keep everything orientated. So um, I think the best thing to do for me is just to keep listening to those guys. So everything go right for the rest of the season because they know what they're doing, they're vets. Coach said that you were super excited when you found out at halftime that you were going to be playing the rest of the game. Is there a moment in the second half where you feel like everything kind of clicked? 
where maybe you finally felt 100% comfortable, not to say you didn't going on, but is there a moment where you were like, okay, I can do this? Yeah, after that first, that the first dig route to uh, Kari in the middle of the field, like on that first drive coming out of the half, that solidified it. Like, just keep making plays because it feels good to make that, that first play. I just want to make many or more plays like that, so. Did you have any family at the game yes, this I did. past weekend? Yes, I did. And are they coming down to yes, they Clemson? Yes, Clemson as well. Do you know how many you're going to be there? Probably five, six. Does the scene, uh, the scene, you're still able to score a touchdown, you know, uh, you know, watch it, I guess, experience it, it, throwing, throwing some of those explosives, um, does that take the pressure off? You know, you did it once, you're, you're going into a tough environment, but you feel like, okay, I know I can for sure. Yeah, definitely scoring a touchdown and like throwing throwing passes and, and completing a pass, it definitely took some steam off of me. And I want to do that same thing going into Clemson. That first play, I feel like that first good completion I have is going to keep rolling after that. So it's great to have those completions. And hopefully I'll score again this week. Yeah,